starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Lassie, look at this one. Isn't he something? Says he was last year's winner in the retriever class. Farm dogs. Obedience, guarding, sheep herding. Boy, Lassie, I bet you can win hands down in that class. Says they bring dogs from all over the country to the Midvale field trials. Timmy, here comes your dad. The supper's ready. Okay, Mom. That bean crop is a total loss. First the tomatoes and now the beans. Where will it all end? Come on, Lassie. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Dad, is is it going to rain soon? Well, no rain's been predicted to me. You know, Ruth, I've been thinking, why don't we sink another well? But that costs money. Oh, I know. But I can, I can ask the bank for another loan. Well, come on, Timmy. Eat your dinner. Bless our farm and our house and watch over us. And please, God, let it rain real soon. Amen. I thought we were on our way home. Now, this is our last stop, Timmy. I've got to see the bank manager. Oh. I won't be long. Come on, let's get out. of show, $200, wow, if you only had a way to get to Midvale, it's over 50 miles from here, wait a minute, I've got an idea, Have a good lunch. Mom, don't you think we need an extra sandwich? An extra sandwich? What for? Oh, do you know how hungry Lassie and I get on these outings? Well, I put in two sandwiches and an apple, a thermos of milk, and some hamburger for Lassie. Oh, that ought to hold you. Mm, I guess so. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right, dear. Bye-bye now. Be careful and be home at 5 o'clock. Okay, Mom. Come on, Lassie.
Well, Lassie, we'll be there any time now. I think this is Midvale. Yeah, there's a sign, Lassie. Okay, Lassie. Now, when I say jump, you jump. Papers on the dogs in my trailer. I'll fill out the forms. I'll bring back the white shirt. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Just so I have them back before the first event begins. Come on, Kluger, Junior. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Well, son, what can I do for you? Well, my name is Timmy Mart, and this is Lassie. I'd like to enter her in the field trials. All right, fine. Yeah, all you have to do is fill out that form and pay the entry fee. Son, the entry fee for this show is fifteen dollars. That's because of a large amount of prize money and the prestige of the camel that has the winning dog. Thanks anyway. Sir? Yes? Yeah? What time does registration close? Well, in uh, just about one hour. Thank you. One hour. Gosh, Lassie, you could never earn twelve dollars in that time. Wait a minute. Dad went to the bank to make a loan. Why can't we? Come on, girl. in the Midvale field trials. Well, how much of a loan do you need? Twelve dollars. Well, that's a lot of money. How can I be sure you'd pay it back? Well, if I can enter Lassie in the field trials, I just know she'll win, and first prize is two hundred dollars. So I can pay you right back. If she wins. No, a bank can't take gambles, you know. Alone, we need collateral. Security. Something of value. I understand. Thanks anyway. Come on, Les. Well, hi there. Hi. Hey, it looks like my junior and Kluger are gonna have a little competition, eh? No, sir. Lassie isn't going to be in the trial. Why not? Couldn't get the entry fee. I've had that same problem myself. It was so important that we win that first prize. You must have a lot of faith in Lassie to be so sure that she'd win. I just know she'd win. She'll be up against a lot of seasoned professionals. Lassie, sit. Lie down. I get up. She's an exceptional dog, all right. Timmy, how would it be if I lent you that entry money? Without collateral? No, not exactly. I was thinking you might put Lassie up as collateral. 
say it's so important that you win that prize. That bean crop is a total loss. Well, it all ends. You could ask the bank for another loan. For a loan, we need collateral. Lassie's collateral. I just gotta do something to help me. You must have a lot of faith in Lassie to be so sure that you're gonna win. I just know she'll sure win. Ladies and gentlemen, the first trial of the day will be to test a working dog's ability to lead a cow over a difficult obstacle course ending in this corral. The first contestant, owned by Mr. Sam Caldwell, is Junior. The final tally for Junior, Mr. Sam Caldwell's dog, four minutes, ten seconds. And the next contestant for the obstacle course, Lassie, a collie owned by Timmy Martin. Lassie, four minutes, 17 seconds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a sheep herding trial. To test the ability of a dog to work with other dogs and alone. May we please ask all of you to be as quiet as possible? Thank you. Lassie just can't lose. What would we do? <laughs> Flat. Lassie. Second contestant, 
Timmy Martin's lasso. Well, you're on, girl. Timmy, it looks like Lassie uh, might beat Junior. Look. You really think so? Boy, she's doing a great job. Come on, Lassie! Lassie, you were just terrific. Come on, girl. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen, the final results. First, I want to commend Timmy Martin's colleague, Lassie, on a fine performance. He's broken two records today. However, according to tallies, the prize goes to Junior, Mr. Sam Coleman's dog. <laughs> Timmy, that was awfully close. Well, as he did a great job. Well, now look, son, you really can't expect to win on your first trial, but I predict that you are gonna be one of the best dog trainers in the country and win lots of money. I might even arrange to have you start with another pup. I, I, I'm just going to take her over to my trailer. Then tomorrow we'll be leaving for home. Lassie, you have to stay with Mr. Caldwell now. Timmy, I know it's hard to, to part with a dog you've trained, but you two will be seeing each other again. Come on. Lassie, you have to go with Mr. Caldwell. Go on, girl. Yeah, hello, Mom. I'm in Midvale. And it's awfully hard to explain. Mom, I've lost Lassie. I, I put her up for collateral. Well, now, Timmy, listen. L listen to me very carefully. Tell me exactly where you are and, and where Lassie is, and then your dad and I will be there just as soon as we can. Okay, Mom. I'm in a phone booth at the corner of Market and Main Street. 10, 11, 12. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry if we've caused you any inconvenience. Oh, that's quite all right. See, if I had only known that Lassie meant so much to the boy. Well, thanks, Mr. Caldwell. Pleasure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. That's all right, Timmy. But you know, you can't dismiss the whole thing so lightly. You did some things that were very wrong. I know, Dad. Oh, really, when I think about your hitching a ride on that truck, after all the things we've told you, the terrible things that can happen to hitchhikers, really, I just don't understand you, Timmy. It's not only the hitchhiking, but not telling us where you were going and almost losing Lassie. Gee, Dad, I knew you and Mom were in trouble. I was just trying to help. I know that, Timmy. We appreciate it. We are having a financial problem right now. But those are our problems, Timmy. And when you're grown up, you'll have problems of your own, and you'll have to find a way to solve them. But right now, so that you'll be prepared, you ought to be thinking about other things, and about growing up to be the kind of person you'll be proud to be. We want to help you as much as we can. You've got to do it mostly on your own, just the way we have to solve our grown-up problems. 
You understand that, Timmy? I do, Dad. I think if it's all right with your father that we could forego the punishment this time. But if it ever happens again... Hey, don't worry, Mom. It won't happen again. <laughs>